In this tutorial, we will see how to obtain historical trend in Wonderware in Dutch. Let's start with creating new window. Here I will give name as historical trend. Extend the window. Now for historical train, we require the historical train graph and one input that is we are going to use slider. So you select it from wizard selection. First we select slider, vertical slider. Then go to the trains in the wizard selection, select historical train, then again go to the wizard selection, go to the trains, select train zoom panel. Put it exactly below your graph. Then again go to the wizard selection. Go to trains. Select train pane digit. From this we can configure the panes that's the inputs we are using for this graph. Now we are going to configure the slider parameter and the graph parameters. We have to give tag name to the sliders and these graphs. We we'll start from the slider, double click on the slider. Here to ask tag name, give it as S1 and press enter. Define S1, click on OK. Now another window came up. Here you have to select the option that is log data and log events. And here you have to set the minimum and maximum value. That is minimum value is 0 and maximum value is 100. And click on save and close. Now you configure the graph. Has to cut trend. That is, we give it as a x, x and it's y, y, pin scale. It's a memory integer. Click on OK. Now we have to also configure the values and times. So, I first configure the times. Here it is major divisions that are 4, minor divisions that are 2. And initial time span initial time span that is 10 minutes here we select initial time span as a 10 second and click on ok then go to the values here we change the value format we select the two basic decimal places Click on OK. Now we have to configure the panes. Inputs we are using for this graph. We give S1 tag name to the slider. So put it as S1 and click on OK. Click on OK. Now we have to configure the bar. Strip attain use it as xx and pan yy. Click on OK. Here also you have to use the strip train 6 and pan scale yy. 
Okay. Now for obtaining historical train, you have to enable the historical logging. If you don't, if you didn't enable the historical logging, then when you go to the runtime, it gives error that you must enable the historical logging. So for enable historical logging, go to the special under the menu tab. Select configure, then go to the then go to the historical logging and here click on enable historical logging. Keep log file for one day and click on OK. Click on OK. Now go to the runtime. Okay, now in runtime you have to move the slider. And here you got the historical train. Let me move the slider from 10 45, 10 hour 45 minutes 18 seconds to 10 hour 45 minutes 25 seconds. Here you got the train for that. Now again move it. Here you got the other trend. You can zoom in for specific trend. Move the range and click on zoom in. Here you can observe the trend closely. You can also extend it. In this way, you can see historical train and generate the historical train. Now we are using the two pins for that historical train. So you have to select down the slider. Close that runtime window so you are able to develop the program. So go to the wizard selection and select under the slider. View it as S2. Enter. Define as to click OK. Log data, log events. And here the minimum and maximum value are already set 0 and 100. So save and close it. Now we have to add another we have to another if we have to add another train pain legend for adding the another pain that is our S2. So double click on that pane wizard. View it as a double X, double Y. Pane number 2 and click on OK. Now now here in the graph properties you have to add the another pin that is S2 go to the pins and add S2 click on OK now go to the runtime go to the runtime now there are two inputs slider S1 and S2 we are moving these two inputs and see the historical trend for both of them. Now I am moving the S1 and then S2. And 
here you see the both the graphs in the different color that first is s1 and that is s2 now we are getting a windows script for that two sliders so it automatically increment and obtain the linear graph we will see it we will add a windows script for windows script you have to right click on the window at anywhere go to the windows script and here you have to write the program you have to write the script for your operating condition that we are writing if s1 it's less than 100 then s1 equal to s1 plus 1 with semicolon else s1 equal to 0 means it will increment up to the 100 it will increment by 1 plus 1 up to the 100 and when it becomes greater than 100 it will be again become 0 and again start from incrementing then give and if here is the script for the first slider now we have to write the script for our second slider same as the above only changes that s1 will replace by s2 we write if s2 is less than 100 then s2 equal to s2 equal to s2 plus 1 else s2 equal to 0 so, s2 equal to 0 and if then here you have to change every one millisecond and validate your program it's okay if it's not okay then it will give the error become okay and again go to the runtime. Now you can see the sliders are automatically moving. The both the sliders are incremented by plus one. And when they goes to hundred, they start again from the zero. And you can see the linear graph of the both the inputs that is s1 and s2 now we'll change their increments that is the first will increment by 6 and second will increment by 4 okay and again go to the runtime Now here you see the graph for both of them. In this way we can create the historical trends for the inputs. In this graph we can add maximum 8 pins. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We can add the maximum 8 inputs and obtain the graph for the 8 inputs. We can obtain the graph for the past 30 days, for the past 15 days in the historical logging. We set here keep log for one day, means it will save the file for one day only. If you change it to the 30 days, then it will save all the log files up to 30 days. And we can see that. 
Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more tutorials.